ranch down in the good land, um, Goodland, Florida. Once in a while my Jersey accent comes out. They say, don't worry, he's, he's not angry, he's just from Jersey. It's, it's good down here, I don't have any problems. Blending in with the local decor. I consider myself more a Floridian now. I grew up in a place called Deptford, New Jersey, right outside of Philly. I had a great childhood. We were kind of poor. We didn't really know that we were poor because we lacked for nothing. My dad was an awesome guy. He's one of the few people that I can say that I've never seen ruthlessly or really, really, really mad at somebody. I mean, if I could be more like him, if we could all be more like him, it'd be a much better world. My mother, she was, uh, she was my best friend. Uh, unfortunately, I lost her um, back in 1994. I would uh, say that I was no, nowhere near with the popular people in school. I believe friends are very important in your life. So I'm an Aquarius dragon, which if you look up can be pretty, uh, pretty unique. And it says I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to marry a rat or a monkey sometimes. So I'm looking for a rat or a monkey. But I always believe it's better to be in no relationship than a bad one. So um, I'm, I'm still single, but I'm looking. I've never been married. Close a couple times. My early musical influence were definitely Jimmy Page, Clapton, got a little older, be Stevie Ray Vaughan, blues artist, B.B. King, and Albert King. Pretty much every song I write has something to do with what I've been through or what I'm feeling or, or something that's happened to me. I got a lot of ballads in me, a lot of gut wrench. Maybe not brought out in Rise Above, but maybe on the next project. Uh, my thing with music is not to be famous, not to be rich. Money doesn't hurt. It's not money, it's not fame. It, for somebody to sit there and say, you know what, that's a, I really love that song. I really love that song. Uh, whether it be a straight blues song or a, you know, or a ballad or anything, just, or another musician say, man, I wish, that's one I wish I, I wish I wrote. So it, it's, it's really about, the, it's really about the music and the songs. People laugh at me because of music, but I'm a pretty shy person. I'm not going to be the first person to walk up there and give people hugs and, oh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. You know, people get upset because of, I don't go up and hug them. They, they think I'm... Um, and I'm a little snobby, I'm not, I'm just shy. Uh, sometimes you just gotta come up with me. Okay, the album Rise Above, we got a lot of really good players. We recently lost John Rico Scott, he played all the drum tracks on the album. Great drummer, and more importantly, just a great person. We had Charlie Wooten play um, bass on half the tracks. Also, uh, Todd Smalley played the other the other bass tracks. And we recorded at Broccoli Rob Studios in, uh, in Fairfield, New Jersey. It was engineered and produced by Dave Fields, who's a great friend of mine. And he, he played some, he played some awesome piano on it. He played some slide guitar on there. Helped me with the arrangements. And, uh, really, I think brought out the best of me in the studio. Um, really did a great job of bringing out who I am as a guitar player, I believe. Do I have any more music in the works? Yes, I'm planning on following this up. Um, I've been talking with Dave Fields and uh, I'm gonna do another album. 
looking forward to seeing what that looks like. In closing, I would say go to BillyJJams.com. I've been called, you know, working man's musician, working man's blues. Whatever your passion is, go for your passion. Regardless of what the, regardless of what other things pay or anything, I think if you go with what your passion's with, and I think you're on the right path.